706 News is about evidence, which is why this is just plain nuts. Fox News had a tarot card reader on. Oh boy. Again, this alleged psychic is not on Good Morning Idaho. This is the Fox Network. Again, news about evidence, and we use science to distinguish good evidence from bad evidence, but when it comes to paranormal, most don't bother to do that. But if you think you have a supernatural power, I know some people who can help. For years, the Center for Inquiry Investigations Group in Los Angeles has had a $500,000 paranormal challenge. What happens when a psychic or some other supernatural claim is confronted with scientists? Well, they recently tested three people, including Jose from Spain. His supernatural claim, he can hypnotize from a distance and make someone's eyes roll to the back of their head. He failed. That's strike one. They also tested Donnie from Illinois. His supernatural claim, he can use his body to sense unheard music at a distance through vibrations. Oh. And can even do an interpretive dance as the music changes. Wow. He could not do it. That's strike two. And Renee of Nevada also put her supernatural claim to the test. She communicates with the spiritual realm to move a pendulum without touching it. Oh, wow. With scientists watching, she could not do it. Strike three. Uh. Are you shocked? Maybe just a bad day in the supernatural yes. realm. Sometimes it's hard to perform on command. <laughs> well, over the years, the team has tested dozens of people with claims of the supernatural. And so far, the number of people who have passed zero. Oh, boy. Let me add up again. <laughs> zero. And so you may wonder, like, why don't the Van Progs and the John Edwards and all these famous psychics, why don't they go in, just get the money? Yeah. Because they know better. Uh, mm. Or performance anxiety. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah you never know, Larry. Yeah. You never know. It's stressful. <laughs> A lot of options.